and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, so while we're waiting for my glass to finish, by the way, I should probably move the forge closer to the uh, pyramid. I don't know why I built it all the way over there. Anyways, while we're waiting for that to finish, let's start working on the oasis a bit. So we just need two more squares to be green, I think, at this point, right? Kind of wish we could actually get a closer look at this map, but oh well. So I think this square needs some grass. And apparently one of these corner squares needs some grass. Oh, this square too. Okay, never mind. I see where I need to put, uh, plant some grass. So, we need to greenify this square. And we need to greenify this square. Hold on, I want to get this lined up properly. Eh, good enough. Alright, so while we're doing that... Wait, why isn't this working? Oh, wait, duh. Hold on a second. I kind of forgot. We only have one person who can actually terraform the land like that. And he doesn't live here anymore. Give me a second. Wrigley, get back over here. It's kind of annoying that we only have one Wrigley. I don't know. We could probably teach someone else to dig through the dirt like this. Like, uh, Lulu might be able to, like, eat dirt and, like, make everything fertile again. I don't know. Has she ever tried? Well, anyways, we're almost done with the Oasis. We just need her, him to uh, finish up the last square. And then after that, the Oasis should be done. What? Oh, right, I keep forgetting. It looks kind of weird from the sky because the middle of the Oasis is more shallow than the edges. Which I am pretty sure is physically impossible, but whatever. Alright, so once he's done with this square, the Oasis objective should be completed. Unless I screwed something up. Nope, there we go. Whoa, the... I don't know what you two are just doing, but fine. It's a little bit patchy, I will admit. There's like random bald spots everywhere and the oasis just isn't level like in the slightest. Oh god, this oasis actually looks terrible. Uh, the, the edges are deeper than the middle. With a, like, with a pretty level bottom, so yeah. Water is just completely broken. Huh? Well, we built an oasis. Oh yeah, I don't think we have another mini uh, award coming up anytime soon, right? We need nine more for the magic pencil. Okay. In fact, maybe I'll go take a quick look at the tablet while we're waiting for the glass to finish. Okay, so yeah, while we're waiting for the glass to finish... I kind of want to go check what other objectives we can do real quick. Oh, right. Until we finish the main story, we don't get any of our objectives. Never mind. Oh, yeah, now that we have the Transformer Trial, we can actually change between two modes. Swap mode or fill mode. So, fill mode is basically what it sounds like. Like, if we just take out some dirt and place it. Nope. Wrong button. And place it. We can just build walls with it. It's actually kind of really handy in certain uh, places. Not right now, though. We kind of want to be a little bit more exacting with our current building. Okay. So, let's grab that real quick. I think that should be enough glass to finish up the flooring. Now, unfortunately, there is an issue with the current, like, idea of a completely glass dome. And that's the fact that... Weirdly enough, glass flooring and glass walls don't really interact properly in this game. It's kind of annoying, but we're going to need to basically make some type of border around it. So what can we border it with? I really wish we had, like, glass blocks or something. Hmm. There has to be something we can use. I need some more glass flooring real quick. Uh, what else do we need? Like, I'm pretty sure there's some workaround with what I want to do, but for now, I kind of don't want to spend all day on this. Uh, I need windows. That's why I needed. Where are my windows? 
I want connecting windows so that, you know, they actually connect. Actually, no, wait, no, those are angled. Never mind. Yeah, we kind of just need connecting windows. Other than that, is there anything else I want to grab right now? Nope. Okay. So let's continue working on the gift shop. But yeah, unfortunately, like, if... Hold on, let me put these down real quick. But I can at least show you guys what I'm talking about when I say that glass windows and, uh, glass floors don't really act... I need more. Don't interact properly. So you would think they would try to make, like, a box shape with the flooring. But what actually happens is this. They just get placed in the middle of the tile. It's super annoying and I wish there was a way around it. I'm sure there is, like I said. Anyways, I also need a bit more glass flooring. I kind of underestimate how much I would need. So yeah, we'll have to actually make some type of border around it, unfortunately. It's gonna ruin the look of the cube. Oh well. Okay, so anyways, I need... I need flooring. Where's the flooring? Sure, you know what? We're gonna need a lot of it, so I might as well make a bunch of it right now. We have more glass coming. Okay, what the... Oh, right, we don't have vents for anyone. That's fine. Okay. Actually, you know what? What if... Hmm... No, that doesn't look as ne nearly as good as I thought it would. Okay. So we need to put something around the edge. What do we have to work with? I guess, like, gold or silver? Silver might work. Hold on. Yeah, I guess silver will work. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Eh. Hmm. It's not gonna look the best, unfortunately, but... We've already de or we've kind of already committed to this, so we might as well just continue. Also, glass windows don't really work well with corners, so we're gonna need to make corners out of silver too. Man, all I wanted to do was make a giant glass cube, but no. Gotta have some actual structure to it. Alright, well, anyways. Let's try our new tool. Oh, wait. These aren't technically considered wall blocks, so unfortunately our tool doesn't work with it. Man, it's one disappointment after another today. Well, at least let's try to make this thing. Oh god, camera. So I'm thinking maybe like four tiles high should be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna need more windows after this. Yeah, we need to go grab our glass once we're done here. I'm still dedicating myself to the idea of a, like, glass window shopping only gift shop. The only issue- oh, actually the issue is I, if I get stuck here. I need to build this from the outside, right? But the only issue right now is I don't know if we can build a room without a door. Well, actually I can just find out right now. Oh, light source, right. Uh, I didn't mean to put that away. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, no, we need a door. Yeah, unfortunately the door is not optional. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep it here. We can put a door in, but they just can't access it. We need to make sure we destroy any way to access the door once we're done here. Oh, now that we've done this too... I can't pick my hammer. There we go. We can actually get rid of the supports now. So yeah, you can basically watch from below or from the outside. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately the the silver border does kind of make things a bit annoying, but that's fine. It's the idea it's the idea that counts. I can't talk right now apparently. Whatever. Okay. Should be enough glass. 
So we're gonna need what more windows and more flooring at the actually no yeah we need more windows. I want to make another layer too high. Where is that's a storage box? That's not the crafting table. I guess we can also start decorating it now. Where is my glass windows? Should be here, right? Yeah, here we go. Get like another 50 should be good. I guess while we're here, let's also make a bit more glass flooring for the roof. Just to make sure they don't accidentally try to get in from above either. Like I said, they're not actually allowed to go inside the gift shop. They, they're just allowed to see inside the gift shop. Oh, I never put down the bell, did I? There. Okay, let's continue building. Alright, so what else do we need right now? Let's uh, continue building upwards. Yeah, I think two more levels should be good. Also, I kind of need to remember what I actually need to finish this area off. Like, the actual, like, things I need to put in here to decorate to make it an item shop. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Mm. We might need to make some scaffolding to make this properly. Okay, let's make some scaffolding real quick. Shouldn't be too hard. Actually, do I want to go... Mm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go one more tile high. That should be fine. And then, oh, nope. And then after this, we can just build the ceiling. And then we should be done. Well, then we need to put the actual things inside that we need. I know we need the item shop sign. We need the two storage coffers. I can't remember what else we need, though. Oh, the price sign, duh. And then I don't know if we need to put anything we need to sell in here. Also, we need to make sure we fill it with water. That's important. Even though that will turn into a uh, fish tank. Perfect. Let's get rid of our dirt scaffolding real quick without breaking the windows. Hey, no, get out. You're not allowed in here. Okay. Uh, Cordelia, what else do we need right now? We need a shop sign, two coffers, a table, and a price tag. Okay, then we should have everything we need then. Also, we need to make sure we put a light source in there too. Oh, we're under attack. That's fine. Anyways, I'm just gonna get up here real quick. Oh, I guess we're going to need a silver border along the top as well. Okay. <laughs> hey, get out. What part of you're not allowed inside the item shop do you not understand? Don't make me kick you off the area. I can't access my inventory. There we go. All right, we need to make sure that everyone's outside. Bef I keep falling. Before we uh, open up the item shop. Nope, Malroth, not now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's actually going to be kind of a tight fit looking at it. We are literally right up against the second floor. I can't get out. Actually, wait. Am I, oh, nope. Am I even going to be able to build the ceiling from here? 
I think I can still squeeze my way around the whole, like, rafters issue. Hmm, I'm gonna need to go to the other side, though. Yeah, we should still be able to do this. I did not mean to do that. You know what? Good enough. One day I'll be able to stay on top without falling off every few seconds. Yeah, the camera is kind of iffy when it gets into tight space like this. As we have definitely noticed so far playing this game. It's fine. We're almost done. Alright, I'm gonna leave a hole in the top for a very specific reason. That I will explain eventually. Okay, so anyways, let's put what we need then. We need... Coffer... Coffer... We need a shop sign. So let's just put the shop sign... Mm. Do we, put, do we have to put it on a wall? Yeah, we have to put it on a wall. Alright. Price tag. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's an actual item you have to put down. Whoops. Okay. We also need a table. Here, you know what? Let's put down a table real quick. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Get out, get out. Alright, you know what? Shut it down. The item shop has been compromised. But no, seriously, everyone, get the hell out of here. We're not done yet. Actually, I'm gonna put that away before I accidentally actually blow up the uh, item shop. But... Here's what I'm thinking. So we need to make sure they can actually see the merchandise, right? So, what if... We just, like, put the merchandise front and center. For example, what if we just... Oh, wait, we have a ghost statue. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted, though. What if we put down... I can't find the items I'm looking for. Where are they? Wait, where the heck are they? I am probably cons completely missing them. Wait, did- oh, there they are, never mind. Okay, so here's my idea. Oh, actually, you know what? Perfect. So, what if we just, like, I don't know, put the merchandise front and center in the center of the area? And, I don't know, just put a couple of, like, decorative skulls and skeletons around? Perfect. Oh, that's not- I thought that would be sitting on top of the thing, not floating above it. No, no, Ralph, not now. Perfect. It, get out. Oh, I just realized Wrigley can actually- No, wait, no, Wrigley's inside the gift shop. Alright, we need everyone outside the gift shop, like, right now. Whoops. Well, we turned it in. Yes. We can definitely sell things to Taurus. Okay. Oh, hello there. Hmm. We could make a minecart. Alright, it needs to run through the pyramid, though. 200. Oh my god, 200 pieces of track connected. Okay, well, we could do that, actually. So, yeah, we could, like. We could build, like, ourselves a. Oh, you know what? We could build a roller coaster. Okay, so we need to bring a shopkeeper from the Explorer's Shores. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to go exploring soon. It's been a while. I don't know. When it comes to Explorer's Shores, I'm considering maybe just, like, doing the actual exploring on my own to get the infinite items. Because that just takes a while and it's... Honestly, it's mostly busy work. I'm not a big fan of how it works. It is, like, 90% busy work. Also, I'm starving. Do I have any food? I have cabbages. I don't feel like going to go cook anything right now. Okay. 
So yeah, before I do anything though, everyone get the hell out. Hold on, let me seal off the item shop. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do with Wrigley over there. He can just access anything without having to walk. Actually, wait, I have an idea. I have an easy way to get everyone out. One minute. There. There we go. Okay, so like I said, no one is allowed inside the item shop from now on. Got it? Alright, so Lulu, what do you need now? Oh, right, at some point I should probably change. It's been a while. I don't know their suggestions. Alright, what are your suggestions? So, Dougie wants... Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that could work. It's just like a... Yeah, I guess it's just a normal room. Hold on, let me go see what the other design is. Digby, what's your design? You know what? I prefer Digby's. Just looking at it. I Yeah, it's Goldie Rocks. I, I think we need to get that one. All right, let's go put down the blueprint, and then we can finally finish off the pyramid. Yep. Where do you keep getting all these blocks? You know what? It doesn't matter. Okay, so while they're doing that... We could start working on some of those optional objectives we just got. I think they're actually listed on the... Or not bulletin board. On the uh, tablet now. Let me see here. No, they're not actually. Okay, never mind. Oh, class is done. Okay. In that case, let me check something real quick then. I want to double check what they actually want. I know one of us is gonna, one of them is gonna require us to go exploring for a bit. And like I said before, I think I'm gonna do most of the exploring on my own, just to like get the busy work out of the way. Uh oh, god, that's not a floor. Whoops. I just saw like the white, and I assumed it was a floor, but no. My brain... They tricked me, basically. My brain thought it was a floor, but no, it was just nothing. Okay, anyways. Like I was saying, I want to check something real quick about the roller coaster. I mean, he only wants a minecart, but still. Okay. 200 pieces of track. Through the oasis or into the... O or through the pyramid or into the oasis. You know, hold on. How much track do I have? I only have 18 things of track. One second. What do we need to make track again? I don't know if I have enough materials for this, actually. I might have to go grind a little bit of materials to make 200 pieces of track. But I have an idea. Why did I come here? Actually, you know what? I know why I came here. Give me that. I'm kind of tired of having to run all the way over here to get materials. I'm just going to stick it, like, in front of the pyramid. Okay, how much iron do I have, though? I actually don't have that much iron. I'm gonna use up a bunch of my iron, unfortunately. Okay, so what do I need to make tracks, then? 30 for... F actually, wait, do I have enough? Oh, wait, no, I do have enough. Never mind. Okay, we don't have to grind, then. So he wants, like, a roller... Well, he wants a minecart ride with 200 things of track. And he wants to see if we can put it, like through the pyramid and or oasis. I have an idea. So yeah, I think we could make ourselves an actual roller coaster then. It'll be like... So I'm thinking it'll go around the pyramid and then maybe through this... Well, 
Wait, no, there's no X on the other side, is there? Oh, wait, no, yes, there is. And then what if we, like, put it through... Okay, it would have to go through the second floor. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can just, like, start it here somewhere. We would have it go up around the oasis, or out, I keep saying calling it the oasis, around the pyramid. And then it can, like, cut through the center here. That could be interesting. Or we could have it go through the oasis. Oh, there are windows. Perfect. Okay, yeah, you know what? This could work. Also, I think I'm going to make it super, super high. Actually, wait one minute. Speaking of going super, super high... Didn't we have an objective for that? You know... We could kill two birds with one stone here. What if... Okay, here's my thought. We might need more than 200 tracks, to be honest. But what if we make, like, a roller coaster? We start, like... Uh, like I said, say around... Say around here somewhere in front of the, uh, pyramid. And then we just go up. We just keep going up and up. Get out of my way. We just keep going up and up and up. And then we just do, like, a big curve around through the pyramid back to here. That could be fun. It could also be absurdly dangerous, but you know what? All roller coasters are... No, well, no, I think more roller coasters in general are pretty safe, but still. Where is the fun if there's not a little bit of danger involved? Okay. I think I am definitely going to need more tracks, though. So at least let's get started, then. Oh, do I have, like, a stop sign or anything? I think I might need to make that real quick. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna need one of these, I think. We'll put, like, one on each end, I guess. Ooh. Oh, photograph, pho uh, what is it, fireworks? We can't do that yet. Okay. That'll be something for later. But anyways, with that, I think we might wrap things up here. Actually, before we wrap things up, let me check one final thing. Hey, Brown Bear, you... S okay, yeah, we do have some new islands we can get to. Sunny Sands and Iridescent Island. Iridescent Island is the one we need to go to. So let's get that unlocked real quick. I guess we have the uh, gratitude for both islands at this point. Uh, we're not going quite yet. I want to check the info first. Infinite supply of copper and silver. That's not bad. Also, we can get cows there. Very derpy cows. Iron and coal. Okay, yeah, we want both these islands. But I think for now, I we're just going to wrap things up here. And then next time... Actually, no, I'm going to set sail right now. Just because of how it handles save data, I might as well just do it now. Oh, I have mail I should probably also take a look at. But yeah, we're basically going to go over there real quick. We're going to grab the shopkeeper we need. I'm going to find the build for the island. Because like I said, every Explorer Shore has a contest winning build. And then I'll probably just come back later and finish up uh, actually surveying the island. I definitely want to survey both islands though. Because both islands have materials that I kind of really need. But like I said, we'll do that next time. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2. I just realized I didn't bring any food with me, did I? We might have to do a bit of cooking. So, till then.